It is June 18th and 19th, Friday and Saturday. The sun is in Gemini and the moon is in Libra. I love that story. And then we have a trine over here with Saturn and Aquarius. That's called a grand trine in air. And I'm here to tell you we're supposed to have fun this weekend. Because when you have a moon in Libra and a sun in Gemini and Saturn in Aquarius, if any of you out there are sensitive to the energy, it's time to pick it up. Why? Because that's what Geminis do for a living. They do not get bored. They don't sit idle. They have to find things to do. They love to clean. I love watch. I have a really good friend who's a Gemini and she has three children and she is constantly, and I love watching it. Someone's doing this. She's organizing that. She's got the kid over there doing that. She's got the nanny over there. She's got the dad over there. She's got the best friend. And it's all being orchestrated with this big smile on her face. She looks as cute as a button. She's got this lovely energy and lucky those people who are Geminis, especially if they have a grand trine of error. The downside of this, scattered, unfocused, using words that aren't accurate, gossiping, finding themselves spinning their stories around in their head, talking too much. Now, there's a fixed T-square in the sky. Saturn's in Aquarius, opposing Mars and Leo, squaring Uranus and Taurus, and it's all releasing Scorpio. Well, what is more sexy than a little Gemini with Moon and Libra? Releasing in Scorpio. What a great weekend, Moon and Libra, for a little romance, but Mercury's going retrograde. Ah, and that means it could feel like things are going off. Well, what do you do when things go off when your Moon's in Libra? You say, Are you okay? All the opportunities you have this weekend to check in with your partner and say, Is there anything you want to talk about? You've got a grand trine in air, and Deborah told me in astrology answers that there's reason for us to communicate, over communicate about sex, the thing no one ever talks about. That's what I love about Gemini with Moon and Libra. They'll say anything. They'll talk about everything. They'll go to therapy. They'll ask questions. They'll study astrology. They'll be the teacher. Oh, we've got one of our best teachers in our school that has this combo, Gemini Libra. It is just the hardest thing she says about Moon and Libra is making decisions and always thinking of the other. Just like my friend with all those kids, you leave yourself out. So if the release is in Scorpio, Hmm. Don't forget about your pleasure. Make sure you include you during this weekend and make sure that you have some really sweet, sexy time. I just had to say that. The releases in Scorpio and the moons in Libra is a grand trine in Aaron. Aren't I allowed to be funny on the weekend? Yes. June 18th and 19th. It's the weekend, Friday and Saturday. Time to be a little funny. Quirpy, quirpy, funny little one-liners. Go ahead. Let's hear some. Write them in the little comments there. Funny little one-liners by you for me.